Hey everybody, are you interested in this? It's the brand new detector out by Garrett called the Ace Apex. And if you are, stay tuned. We're going to unbox it. We're going to assemble it together. We're going to go through the functions. We'll put it out in the field and see what it's all about. And can't wait to try it out myself. So let's go have some fun. Just got a new detector in the mail and uh, bought this off of Battleground Detectors. I'll put the link down below. That's Michael Bennett, Nugget Noggin. Uh, I've got a lot of friends that are dealers and I uh, wanted to buy one off of him and he got that out to me really, really quick when he got his shipment in. And so I want to try out this new Ace Apex. Uh, I love Garrett products. I've always used Garrett products. I started out using the Ace 200 when I first got into uh, detecting and I've I love the AT Pro, that's my favorite detector, and I'm hoping that one day they'll take that AT Pro and they'll make it into the same format as this Ace Apex. They'll have a small housing, digital, and, uh, and have the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, Viper coil on there. I'm hoping they'll do that. Uh, I have the AT Max, I, I liked it, but I don't like the tones on the AT Max. I love the tones on the AT Pro. Uh, and now I have the Ace Apex, but I also have the MindLab CTX 3030, and I also have my favorite go-to detector uh, on land is going to be my Equinox 800, but my favorite go-to detector in the water is the uh, Garrett AT Pro. I just like it. I know what some of you guys are saying. The, eight, the Equinox is waterproof too. Yes, it is, but I don't want a complicated sophisticated multiple frequency detector out in the water plus I don't like getting that detector in the water and getting the magnetic contacts in the back and rusting and stuff like that I just like the AT Pro uh, in the water I just I've hunted with it so long that I know the sounds I know exactly what I'm going to dig before I even dig it I just like the AT Pro in the water and I'm hoping they'll take that AT Pro and upgrade it to being like this uh, this uh, Apex with all the uh, different things there, the the uh, different design uh, things it has on it. But this is their uh, multiple frequency detector, something that I've been asking Garrett to do for three years. I've been asking how they being they need to come out with one to be competitive, and uh, forever I didn't think they would ever get one, but they did, and it looks like a good one. And I'm anxious to put it together. And I want to put it together with you. And uh, so that's what this video is going to be all about. And then we're going to take it out. And we're going to put it to the test by itself, a standalone test as far as just out in just the, the yards and things like that. And then I'm going to kind of compare it to my Equinox 800. But it looks like a good detector nonetheless. And I'm anxious to put it together and see what it's going to be all about. So let me spin you around. Let's take a look at the box. Let's look at the inside of it. And let's put it together, okay? It has got the Z-Link wireless, which is going to sync up also with those headphones and also my AT pinpointer. Uh, this is what I love about this. It's the multiple frequency. It only comes with four, 5, 10, 15, and 20, whereas my Equinox, it has the 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 40, and a simultaneous multiple frequency. So, like I said, it's a, on a different level, but this is a good start, 5, 10, 15, and 20 kilohertz. But I'll probably be running it there in the simultaneous multiple frequency, and it works in the salt. And uh, comes with the MS3 wireless headphones. And also, I'm anxious about this new coil, the Viper Multiflex coil. And uh, this even came with a free search coil cover included. And so, really excited about this. Has six search modes. Uh, and uh, four selectable frequencies, eight selectable channels per frequency. Has the built-in Z-Link wireless, has a rechargeable lithium-ion battery, which is very good. It's got high resolution, got ground balance, a volume control, five audio tones, which is another good aspect of this. Adjustable iron volume and, and the backlight. And you can see that it looks like it's gonna be really good here on that. And so let's open this up. Let's see what we got. All right, we're gonna have our our coil bolt and our charger cables and some instructions. Let's lay that to the side there. 
Uh, we're going to have to have uh, cut this off for the coil. And let's, we've got the MS3 headphones here. And uh, let's set them off to the side. Here is going to be the uh, housing. I like this. Look how thin that is. Way to go, Garrett. No more big, bulky housing. Uh, it's going to be the same grip like it's on the AT Max. And uh, that feels really, really good. So let's lay that aside. Let's uh, open up. We got our shaft. And we're going to have our sniper coil. How about that? I hope they make an aftermarket one of these um, that will go on the AT Pro. This is really nice. I like it. I like the fact that it's 11 inches, but it's only you know uh, five inches. Is that what it is? A six by 11 uh, coil, double D, because. I like it in the water because this is my scoop will fit that'll fit right up in my scoop. So I mean I'm this is gonna allow you to to uh to cover a lot of ground. Uh those fields out over in England or out in the fields looking for relics. Uh it's gonna have a uh, lot of sweeping to it, cover a lot of ground to it. Comes with a coil cover on that. And uh, so I'm really excited about the new Viper coil here. All right, let's put this thing together and uh, see what we got here. Okay, it's going to be just like any other detector uh, that Garrett puts out. Just uh, let's take this. Let's roll it up on that. And uh, let's uh, put it. Let's start out there. Got several different uh, areas that we can... Uh, Put it to no nope. we're just gonna put it on the first one we'll tighten that down not too tight just kind of snug and uh, before we let it out anymore let's uh, open up our bag and get out our bolt anytime you travel like I do I went to Latvia uh, this past summer and I didn't take an extra one of these and when you're in a foreign country you can't find these anywhere <laughs> So I've learned real quick when I travel now, take a backup, and I always take extra of these just in case they get broke. All right, let's uh, get this in here. I heard a little bit of comments about the uh, this being a little snug. I mean, not being too snug, but the coil, let me get you where you can see it. The coil... Uh, is a little bit more narrow than the the ears and it, it takes a lot Michael Bennett was telling me that it just it works fine but you really have to really snug down to get those ears pulled into that shaft to where yeah mine mine fits just fine yeah that fits just fine all right let's uh go over the top and uh, let's uh, get this thing going up here. Let's just right now, let's not do it too tight, too close. And uh, I know it's kind of keeping it in view here. And let's, uh, there we go. And there we are. And that's all it takes right there. She's done. I'll uh, tighten up the uh, shaft and get it adjusted to my length that I want it here in just a little bit. For right now, we're just going to kind of keep it right about here. And uh, it feels good, folks. I like that. feels real light. feels good so far. And uh, so let's turn it on. That's all it was to get it, take, uh, to get it put together. Real simple. And uh, does, you don't need any tools. just need something to cut that one little strap, and that's all you need. So I want to take a moment and just uh, zero in here on the console and uh, show you the buttons. You have your mode button, which is your power, and on and off in your mode. You have your uh, notch disc buttons, which is going to be your negative and uh, be positive, which you'll be also using on your uh, menu. Your menu button, your ground balance, your add, subtract uh, uh, button here, your pinpoint, and your iron audio. So to turn this on, you're just going to hold down the mode button just for a second. And if you want to do a factory reset, just hold that button down for about three to five seconds and it'll reset everything. 
uh, back to the factory. If you're having a lot of chatter, which I, I've seen on the walls on the, on the social media, there's a lot of chatter. But mine is not really chattering, so I didn't. I'm not doing a reset on it, anything right now. And so I'm going to show you the modes. They're going to come up over here. I'm in custom mode right now. That's what I like to run in. And so there's zero mode, which is going to be all your notches up here, uh, like a full metal. Uh, you have coins that's going to notch out up to 45. U.S. coins are going to knock out uh, in your 60s. Uh, your jewelry is going to be back down to 40. Relics is going to jump it down one more in custom mode here is uh, at 30. And that's where I like to leave it right there. But if you want to add uh, in here, you're just going to uh, go down here on the negative and say I want to add that one. I'm just going to hit the uh, add subtract button here. And then I'm just going to go up and just keep hitting add and just do it like that. And if I want to take them out, I'm just going to hit the notch button again, hit the negative, go down the list, and just go back and do it that way. And so I'm going to leave mine on custom at 30 right there. <coughs> Excuse me. And so your next button you're going to be using is going to be your menu button. Uh, it's got sensitivity, volume, iron volume, frequency, and channel. Uh, and so we'll just run through that. So we're going to hit sensitivity. Uh, sensitivity, you're going to do the add, subtract, and you run it all the way up. I'm going to do probably down two bars. Volume, it's got eight settings for your volume. And so we're going to run it all the way up, and we'll adjust it in the headphones later on. Your iron volume, since I'm discriminating my iron out anyway, uh, I'm going to take my iron out. I'll put it back in when I get back in if I want to run some iron, doing some relic hunting or something. Uh, click, kick it again. we got multiple frequency. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Let's go back up to frequency. Uh, we got the salt frequency, multiple frequency salt. We have 5 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 15, and 20. I'm going to be running it multiple frequency, so we're going to leave it there. And on channel, it has eight channels, which is very good, versus the four channels the AT Max and the AT Pro has. Uh, we'll just leave it in channel one right now. Anytime you want to get out of that, just hit the uh, pinpoint button and it goes back down to your uh, detecting screen if you want the light on or off just keep f thumbing through until you get there if you want the light off hit the negative if you want the light on hit the positive it's that simple so we'll just exit out here is your ground balance over here you're just going to hold that down uh, sorry this ground balance over here just going to hold that down and uh, but we're, we can't do it at in the house because I don't have it connected right there and so that is the setup. It's pretty simple. It's not complicated at all. Uh, this is the first time I've ever just put this together and turned it on, and, and this is what we got. On the back side of this is where you're going to be charging. This on the top, you're just going to pull that down. This is where you're going to plug in uh, your uh, external jack for uh, headphones that are not going to be wireless. You do it right there. You plug in your coil right here. You open this up. And it's going to be, I don't know if you can see down in there, uh, it's just going to be a, a USB, micro USB, and you're just going to plug that in, and that's how you're going to charge right here. The battery is inside the, the shaft, which is very good, so you don't have to worry about replacing batteries. I uh, wish I could take it outside and test it, but it's too wet, so I'm fixing to head up to Missouri with Plugmaster 4 Missouri mic, and we'll put it to, to the test there. And then I'm going to go up to Wisconsin for a little while and, and test it there. You'll see those videos probably <clears throat> here in a couple weeks. Uh, I'm going to test it by itself, but then I'm going to compare it to my Equinox 800 as well. And I know they're, they're both two detectors in two different leagues, but I do just want to do a kind of a comparison. I like both brands, and I really like the way this is set up so far. So I'm anxious to put it to work. So I'll see you when I get up there in Missouri and get out in the yards with Plugmaster Missouri Mike. All right, I'll see you there.